Please click Setup, Dilute Mode to choose Whole Blood Option. Click QC, QC setting to enter the QC interface. Please follow the another video to set a new QC file. Click QC analysis, then choose the corresponding QC file to prevent abnormal results. Take out the quality control reagent and let it return to room temperature, then shake it well to prevent poor repeatability. Prepare a pipette set to 60 all and use it to aspirate the quality control reagent. Then transfer it into a capillary tube. If there are any air bubbles inside, gently flick them away with your finger, avoiding excessive force to prevent liquid loss. Open the cap and place the capillary tube into the specific slot in the reagent kit. Then secure the lid and the latch to prevent it from popping out and affecting the sample aspiration during testing. Place the tip into the position indicated in the diagram of the CVC. Then click the start button on the screen and wait for the detection box to eject and verify if the batch number information corresponds correctly. When everything is ready, insert the reagent kit and initiate the test. Please click Setup, Dilute Mode to choose Pre-Diluted option. Please prepare the tools shown in the picture. Prepare by piercing the seal of the sample diluent with the blue bottle cap. Open the quality control bottle cap and use PTDB to fill three tubes to ensure an adequate testing volume. Please be careful not to spill the quality control liquid during pouring to avoid contamination. Use a clean, lint-free cloth or high-quality tissue to wipe off the excess quality control liquid and prevent elevated results. Insert the PTDB tube into the sample diluent, making sure it is fully inserted to prevent any leakage. Give the bottle a gentle shake to thoroughly mix the quality control reagent inside the tubing with the diluent. Remove the blue cap and align it with the pre-dilution pool on the reagent kit. Squeeze the sample from the bottle with force, ensuring that there are less or no bubbles in the bottom. After preparation is complete, insert the tip head and you can begin the testing. Switch to whole blood mode and we recommend using this mode for calibration, as it provides more accurate results and synchronizes with the calibration of the pre-dilution mode. Click Cal Calibrator to enter the calibration interface. Click Mode Calibrator and enter the relevant batch number information for the calibrator. Please contact our service engineer to apply for the value sheet, then input the target to start testing. The blood collection process is the same as the previous procedure. The amount used for each test is 60 microliter. Totally need to perform 10 to 12 times. The video will demonstrate the quality control testing process for the pre-dilution mode. The blood collection process for the whole blood mode is actually the same as the previous CBC mode, which will not be shown here. Please select the CRP mode on the QC setting interface and contact the service engineer to request the target value sheet. Click Curve to make sure whether the batch number is the same as the CRP R2 reagent.
If it is not the same, the CRPQC result will be abnormal. Return back the QC analysis interface and use the blue cap to pierce the seal of sample diluent. Restore the CRP quality control reagent to room temperature, then gently shake it to ensure uniformity. Open the bottle cap and use a pipette set to 32.8 microliters to aspirate and inject it into the sample diluent. After injection, you can repeatedly draw and dispense the liquid to ensure that the CRP quality control reagent is fully mixed with the diluent. Completely insert the PTDB tube into the bottle of sample diluent, then gently mix it with a slight force. Then, open the bottle cap and inject the sample into the pre-dilution chamber. Click Start, check the CRP lot number if it is the same as the CRP reagent. Then make sure the tip head and CRP reagent Please restore the CRP reagent to room temperature, then start testing.